Assalamu alaikum hello hi and welcome to cooking is fun with firdaus and today you are going to see just the recipe and not me guys and i'm really sorry for that just held up with some other work but i still wanted to share this recipe with you all and this is one of my favorite recipe when it comes to kashmiri cuisine and i'm really in love with the flavors of this recipe because it has enhanced a flavor of uh, saffron and ginger along with kashmiri red chili powder and this is none other than mutton rogan josh and it comes from kashmiri cuisine so for this recipe we will be needing 1 tablespoon of cumin seed 2 to 3 cardamom 1 to 2 strands of mace 1 piece of black cardamom 2 to 3 cloves 1 to 2 dry bay leaf and 1 uh, to 2 red chilies dry red chilies we'll use only one bay leaf in grinding this masala so grind all these ingredients well together to form a nice masala Next we will boil around 2 large tomatoes. Boil them well and set them aside until they cool down. Take nice half cup of boiling water to which you'll be adding 1 teaspoon of saffron. You can increase the saffron as per your flavor. So 1 teaspoon of saffron and mix it well and set this aside as well. Moving on, we will be cooking in the meat first in a pressure cooker. We'll add 1 to 2 tablespoons of ghee. This is the exact way how the Kashmiris do, guys. So There's no change in the recipe as per the Kashmiri style. So one dry bay leaf, and we'll first cook the mutton. This is one kg of mutton with the bones, and it's cleaned well. Mix the mutton with the ghee well, and then add around half teaspoon of cumin seed, one teaspoon of fennel seed. Gently mix all this together, and then add one to two large slices of onions which are fried. Mix it well, and now you will add the saffron water to this, along with the saffron strands, because this is where the flavor plays in with the mutton. And then one to two teaspoons of Kashmiri chili, you I mean powder. You can increase if you want. One tablespoon of ginger powder. You can also add freshly grated ginger, along with salt or even ginger paste is fine. And then we'll add around one to two cups of water. Tap the mutton well into it and close the lid and let this cook for about. 8 to 10 whistles in a medium flame and if you are cooking it in an open pot then it will take a lot of time now we're moving on we take the tomato skin off and it's ready to be pureed so let me just puree it okay meanwhile my mutton is cooked have a look at it mm, i just love the aroma <laughs> lovely aroma guys it was my whole kitchen was smelling very beautiful now i'll take a nice large pot to which i'll add oil and nice uh, grounded paste ginger paste along with the pureed tomatoes and cook this well for about 2 uh, to 3 minutes and then add the grounded masala to it and this needs to be cooked well for about 5 minutes and then i'll add a half cup of yogurt again cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes and 1 teaspoon of red chili powder because chili is important here and let it be kashmiri chili powder guys <laughs> and now we'll add the mutton pieces cook mix well and close it and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until they incorporate well together now as you can see the mutton is nicely cooked and it's getting well uh, the oil is oozing out and it's time to add the coriander to it so we'll add the coriander and i want this to cook for another 5 to 10 minutes in a medium flame but let me show you how the curry has come out look at that wow <laughs> wonderful i just love the flavors in a ginger and tomato puree with saffron so after 5 to 10 minutes in a medium flame it's ready to be served there you go and i'm going to serve this to my family i hope you will give this a try and do share your experience in the comments section below thank you for watching stay tuned and i'm really sorry i couldn't make it this time but hope to see you soon in the next video guys and stay tuned with cooking is fun with firdos there's still lots more to come until then take care allah hafiz see you soon